morning, city kids. How are you doing? Happy Monday to you. Yes, it is me. It's Miss Missy. And yes, I am in a minion suit this morning. You know, I was just thinking, it's Monday. Mondays can be rough. It's when I gotta come back to work. I've had the weekend off and, you know, at home. And, and this weekend was my last weekend with my son before he goes leaves for college so I needed to do something different this Monday morning so yep you got it I found my minion suit and thought I'd wear it so it's nice and cozy too it's a little chilly here in my office this morning so you know what I have noticed lately with you kids there's a lot of you having birthdays and turning eight no kidding. I keep an eye out for birthdays, all right? We send out birthday cards. Last week alone, there was like, I don't know, three, four kids that turned eight, all like in the same week. Just, just a lot. Eight's a pretty good year. Yeah. You probably do a lot, right? When you're eight, that was a long time ago for me, so, hmm, I not remember. Um, I think you can do a lot when you're eight. Let's see, let me think drive a car? Nah, no. Can't do it. Um, hmm. I bet you can cook dinner. Hmm. Maybe not. Unless it's like peanut butter jelly sandwich. Like cooking, probably not. Wow. Work a job. No. That's crazy. Hmm. Well, there are lots of things you can do when you're eight. I'm just kidding. There are a ton of things you can do when you're eight. Tie your shoe, ride a bike, ride a scooter, um, play hopscotch. You can color, you can do, probably write your name in cursive. You can probably do multiplication by now. Um, you can brush your own teeth. You can take your own shower or bath. You can dress yourself. Um, you can read a book. You can talk to somebody on the phone or in text. You can play video games. There's a lot that you can do. And that's just doing things. You can be kind. Hmm. You can smile. You can tell a good joke, make somebody happy. There's a lot you can do. And that reminds me of someone in the Bible who was eight and he did some amazing things. In fact, got a video to show you to introduce you to King Josiah. So watch this. God's masterpiece, Josiah. This is Josiah. Hey -o. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. Yeah! Eighteen years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Oh. While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple. <laughs> and read the entire book of the covenant to them. 
That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. We promise you! Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. Wow, that was a pretty good little video there. What do you think of Josiah, King Josiah? And he was eight when he became king, eight years old. Can you imagine being king when you were eight years old? I bet you'd want ice cream all the time. Maybe he asked for ice cream all the time. I don't know. I don't even know if they had ice cream back then, but that's a good thing to think about what you would do if you were king and you were eight. But let's talk about what Josiah did. Um, well, he did a lot of good things and we learn about him you can find him in your Bible in 2 Kings, I believe, around chapter 22. And we find out that some of Josiah's family members weren't that great. Um, yeah, heard that from the video. Um, weren't a very good example, but he did follow King David's example and he did a lot of great things. And when I read my study Bible here, I found out that Josiah, when he was 16, he devoted himself to the Lord. So that means he put some action to his words. All right. He put some action to his words and he did what he could to help his people, the people, God's people, Israel, to learn who God was and, um, because their temple was a mess and people just had forgotten who God was. They'd forgotten some amazing things that God had done before. Like, you know, that whole Moses thing, Joshua thing, uh, goodness, Jacob thing. There was just a lot and people had, had forgotten or didn't even know. And so someone brought him the book of the law and he read it. And so, yeah, King Josiah did some amazing things. Um, in the temple to make it a better place in the church. Hmm. And he was only eight when he started out. Wow. You know what? This could help you guys. Sometimes you guys just tell me you're just too little. You're not big enough. But guess what? You can, with God's help, no matter what your age is, do something for God. You know, school will be starting here before soon. We're in August now. And you, with God's help, can help your friends at school to learn about God. Some of them maybe never heard about them. Maybe they forgot over the summer. Um, so you'll be able to remind them. Maybe you can share your own story of some amazing things God did in your life, your family's life over this summer. And, and you can share that with them and say, hey, remind them that Jesus loves them. Yeah. In God's power, you can do that. I know that you can. Well, you can read about Josiah yourself, and I encourage you to do so. Um, again, 2 Kings chapter 22 and like 23. Um, yeah, those look like they're the main ones, and maybe in a couple other places, but that's the main area where you can find and learn about King Josiah, and then take those things and apply it to your life you can do it well um i hope that you have a great rest of your monday and rest of your week too all right remember jesus loves you talk to him every day read your bible hide it in your heart and love yourself so you can love others all right we will see you next monday for mondays with miss missy bye, -bye.